Hey YouTube, Zinnation Man here, and today, uh, uh, sorry, I got I have to pick up a card from my deck. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a deck profile of a deck I've been trying to put on YouTube, but YouTube is being a complete dick and not let me do it. So yeah, let's get started. I run one battle fader. Three card guard, just for the effect of I can put down another counter, so I'll remind one of my monsters with the counter gets destroyed, I can remove the counter. Dark Necrofear, pretty much a mind control and monster form. Three res, Nators. Uh, you need to run this card in this deck, you need to run three, and I'll tell you why later. Two darkness neosphere heart of the deck monster gets destroyed monster gets attacked pop it it's a four thousand attack and defense cannot be destroyed lancer just for the pierce marshmallow one good card to star with and if you point attacks it they take a thousand points of damage Rizal, good for if your point monster gets destroyed or and it can dest destroy a spell trap, spell card. Uh, a Raikou in the Sangin. Raikou for the destroying ability. Sangin for searching. Sangin, I think we will get probably might get banned. So I'm thinking of. I don't know what I should add to this. So yeah, please leave a comment of what you think I should add. One spirit. Same thing as marshmallow. On. But it can also discard a card when it attacks. Two Thunder Kings. Wonderful card. Screws up your opponent if they use cards of positivality. And they can negate summonings. Ultimate Time Lord. I discard the deck from 23 card monster cards in it. So it's an easy card to pull out. Danny Knight. Just for the tokens. Those are my monster cards. Which one of them spells? Run one book, one dark cold, one heavy, one MS, two MSDs, my bad. Pavado, Pot of Avarice, Pot of Duality. Two swords. Those are my spells. No down traps. I run two dark rods, two deep prisons. To escape. One year. Two bottom of trap holes. Two torrentials. Two on judgment. Two on compulse. So yeah, that's my deck. Do an extra deck. Dark Islanders. The reason why you run three Dark Resonators. Excellent card. You synchro summon this. You, if your opponent is running synchro summon this, you pretty much run the duel, and it works great with car, um, card blocker. So yeah, I run other because since this deck vanishes a lot. Good card to bring it back. Good card to bring it back. Arrow Shark. Good for damaging if you have any banished monsters. I would also like to talk about why people think that they should spend this much money, X amount of money on cards that can be bought later because they will get reprinted. I'm talking about a couple of samples Song Morning, Pond Duality, and Effect Mailer. Effect Mailer. Came, they all came out in this revolution. Fact Mailer was $35. Pot and Solemn was 48 Effect got reprinted two times. So it's back through, you say 3 and Order Chaos Special. Order Chaos Special, it is probably 8 or 9, 9 or $10. Uh, those were, um, Yugi, 
No, you say pack three, it probably six or seven dollars. Some morning and part of the while we got came out in the um, wave one and two tins of twenty eleven. They are both oh wait. Some morning I think it was like ten bucks. Part of the while we is say it was like fifteen dollars, but it also came out in battle back. So it makes it quite easier. My opinion is people should just wait. That's what I do. I'm not gonna spend a hundred and ten bucks on a card card D, cause I don't know I have a strong possibility that card will be repeated again. They're doing it with Zen Mains, Zen Mains with a hundred and ten dollars. Can you reprint it August 14th? Probably be around 40 Yes. Yeah, and the question of question of this video is do you agree with what I'm saying? Of got um people should wait and just buy the reprint or do you disagree with it? And if you disagree, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So yeah. Um until then YouTube the Mystery Man signing out.